Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Tracy Summers, and I have something that God has given me. I've been waiting all week to make a post, but I haven't been able to get anything. I hadn't heard anything, and I've just been thanking and praising God for what he's doing. So um, I'm coming out of Luke, first chapter, 11 verse, and I'm going to read to you, and I'm going to ask at, at some time, you may need to uh, just take some time and read this for yourself. And I would suggest that you read in different versions because you can get a very, uh, you can get a better understanding. If you would like, subscribe, hit the notification button, share with your friends. That'll help me build my little channel. It's going really good. I'm very pleased with what God is doing. So I want to come uh, from Luke 11 and I'm just going to read here. So bear with me. And then I want to go into prayer. There's one thing in particular that I hear God saying for us, those that have been waiting. Luke 1, 11. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar, of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. Now I want to go down to verse 18. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. So uh, that's what I, I want to just kind of share what the Lord has placed on my heart regarding this word. And many of you have been believing God for some time for manifestation, for God to uh, bring forth your husband for your kingdom marriage to manifest. And some of you are in the process and you have met that person. You guys have been talking and conversing and you know that God has sent the person. As I was getting dressed to come in here after God had given me this word, I heard him say, hush. You know, many times we, we tell the children to hush, to be quiet. So this is what I'm getting. When God puts the two of you together. When you're first coming together, you need to be quiet. You don't need to be running around telling your friends, posting on Facebook, or all the other places. You need to be quiet and let God bring you completely together. And at the appointed time, God will give you to share with the world. So just, just be quiet. Hush. Do not tell your business. So this is the prayer point today. That God, We're going to be so excited. We're going to want to share with our friends and family. But God is saying, hush. Be quiet. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you. We praise you for this day. We thank you. We honor you. We glorify your name. We thank you for what you're doing. And we thank you for what you're going to do. We know that you have seen the end before the beginning. So God, we just submit the relationship with you, to you. We submit the marriage to you. We submit ourselves to you. We thank you, Father God, that we're covered by your blood. We thank you, God, that we operate under the anointing that you have given to us. We thank you, Father God, that we're not going to miss it to the right or to the left. We thank you, Father God, that we will be in obedience. We thank you, God, that we will study to be quiet. And we thank you, Father God, we will not release the information until your set time. 
your appointed time. We thank you for that, God. We ask you to set a guard over our mouths so that we can be quiet with the information and that we will only share it when it's time to share it in Jesus' name. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and all the glory and all the honor because it's due to you, God, not to us. And we praise you for it in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed today, and I'm excited about what God is doing. You are ready. You have the victory. God bless you.